Ready for another adventure, Mr. Jarvis? It has been so much fun. I don't really know how we've ended up getting any work done. We're having the best Because time. we're being very silly on set, and it makes the work even more pleasurable. I didn't know our government had such good taste in secretaries. What's your name, darling? It's not just sexism for sexism's sake. It serves the show, because mm -hmm. it's like watching Harry Houdini get out of handcuffs underwater, right? Is that all you've got? It's a great way of adding tension to the backdrop of the SSR world, and it establishes that we she's actually fighting battles within the office as well as against the bad guys. She has so many obstacles, including that major obstacle of the era, so it makes it that much more uh, that much more pressure on her. It's a great repost to that 1946 world of sexism that we have this extraordinary woman playing a really fantastic female-led drama, action, comedy. It's great. Well put. He gets confident. In Jarvis's head, he's Jackie Chan. I mean, before he knew who Jackie Chan was. He's the 1946 equivalent of Jackie Chan. In, in, in his, his head. head. Mm, well, it's got to be Cap, hasn't it? It's, I've, I, it's got to be Cap. I, he's, mm. uh, shut up. <laughs> Chris Evans, I spent so, you know, so, I've known him for so many years now, and he's a, he's a dear friend, and he's, it's wonderful to watch him grow and uh, into that character. Literally. So. He exploded. Literally. He's kind of exploded into I that saw character. I physically swell before my eyes. Really?